Hi everybody, Rick the Radio Guy. Today I'm going to be Rick the Turret Guy and I'm going to introduce you to this product that's just become available on the Cisco Global price list. This is a trading floor turret from a company called IP Trade. Now IP Trade is a group of former Cisco employees in Belgium who wanted to make a device customized just for the trading floor. And what's special about that environment? Well, it's high density streams of audio. Uh, lots of content coming, lots of media flowing, but they wanted to make it simple, they wanted to make it integrate into the Cisco world just like a phone. So this turret actually has a cop sign file to integrate right into Cisco Unified Call Manager. Um, let me quickly show you some of the features. First of all, the logins. You'll notice I'm on the immediate login screen right now and I've got f up to five logins here. Now, if your organization requires a unique username and password, we can flip over here to manual and you can put those in by hand. We'll go back to immediate and we'll log in as John Doe. As the system is coming up, and you see it's there, I'll show you that I have one speaker here on this system. I can have up to two. There's one that bolts on the other side. Up to two handsets and the gooseneck microphone. Okay? So, what I've got here defined is I've got my radio buttons up on top and I can have all kinds of buttons, all kinds of things defined here. You'll notice that when I toggle those uh, buttons, my radio slots appeared over here. The screen is almost infinitely customizable. This one is designed with five what they call applet areas. There are two on the right, two on the left, and the center. Uh, these areas down here on the bottom are always the same for the phones and the call control, but these are completely customizable. So here I have my radio slots is what we call them. Over here I have my incoming lines and I can see incoming calls, calls on hold, calls in queue. I have some presence indicators for various other phones that work very well if you're not running Call Manager Express like I am. In standard Call Manager these will show up in different colors giving you presence. Also, the purple buttons are one-touch transfer buttons or blind transfer buttons, so I can send calls straight in. Now, over here on the side, you'll see I have a Panasonic Toughbook running a soft version on that touch screen of the same software. Basically, all that same functionality, they call it T4 Flex, on the Toughbook also runs very well on a Microsoft Surface, so you can make this very portable. Why? We've also branded this under the name IP Command for the command and control environment, and we tie it back into Cisco Instant Connect. So you can have all your radio control features, different gateways, uh, tone remote control, even a Tetra gateways in the offering. So let me quickly show you some phone features here. I'll come over here and hit my IP Command button on my standard Cisco phone. You see it come into the incoming queue. I'm going to answer it. It's going to go over here to the handset. I can push to talk on the handset and you'll see the light turns blue there. Or if I want to actually not use the push to talk, I can latch it on. Okay, and the light turns blue. Right now let's put it on hold. And then I'll come over here with another phone and I'll dial 2011. And here we go, we see the, the wonderful light show coming in. I can answer this call. And that's going to come down here to the other handset. Now, a couple other things that I can do is I can actually take these calls and maybe even add more. Let's say I want to make a call out to the yellow phone here. One touch dial that. Answer that call. So now I have all my telephony going. I'll move those apart so I don't get the feedback. And I can do things, things like merge the calls together. Because this is a capacitive touchscreen, I can actually use gestures like I would on other capacitive touchscreen devices we won't mention. And I can bring these phone calls together. And now I've got a conference between these devices here on this bridge. So that's kind of cool. We even have an internal conference bridge. Let me hit the end here, hang up, we'll make some of those pieces of feedback go away. Uh, and we'll hang this one up here too. So now we're back to just having a radio console. In the radio mode, 
I can do things like come over here and select, or multi-select in this case. I've selected three channels here. I'm going to reach down here and hit the speak button. And if I talk into the microphone here, we've turned down the volume on this speaker here. There we go. But I'm actually transmitting out on those channels and coming out on this radio. The other thing you'll see is when I transmit back, you'll see activity indication showing up here. Well, that's all really cool. What else can I do with this? Well, I have a call history feature. So I can actually see where my calls have come from. OK. I can dismiss that. I can come back over here. And I can do things like uh, record my calls. Now, I don't have the recorder set up on here. But if I did, there would be a button here. I'd press the plus, And you'd see I have call recorder here. And I could choose to record any line. And then I have instant playback capability also. These are just some of the features of this IP Trade trading floor uh, device that we've modified and brought into the world of Cisco Instant Connect. And it is a very powerful, very full featured solution. Suggest you uh, read up, follow the links at the end of the presentation, and learn more about this. Remember, this can handle 32 streams of simultaneous audio. So it is uh, an IP phone on steroids, if you will, that's great for your dispatch and command and control environments. Thank you very much.